So we have added the functionality to add elements into the card. Let's see how we can make this button functional in order to click here and remove elements from the card. You can see that here on the top, I added this shopping cart content. We're gonna use this and we're gonna apply some delegation in order to add something like that. When the remove button is click, we're gonna run this. It's going to be shopping cart content, add event listener, and this is going to react for a click. This one is going to be called remove calls. So we're gonna copy this and we're gonna take this to the bottom and remove calls from the DOM. We're gonna add a function, we're gonna remove calls. And remember, in order to work with delegation, you need to pass the event. This way, we're gonna have access to e.target. So same as we did before, we're going to add if e.target. And you can see, for example, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the source code right here. Uh, you can see we have shopping cart, open this table, open the table body also, open one of these, open the TD, and you can see we have a class called uh, remove. So we're gonna add e.target.classList.contains, and we're gonna pass that class remove. So then we're gonna be in this position. Remember, tra traversing, you have to define a starting point. And then you're gonna use the functions to reach the point that you are trying to achieve. In this case, we're going to be here. Apparent element is going to take us right here. So we're gonna need another parent element. So we need two parent elements right here. E dot target dot parent element dot parent element dot remove is going to remove the course from the DOM. So you can see at the moment the cart is empty. Let's add this into the cart, scroll to the top, click here, and now you can see that the course is gone from the shopping cart. So this is working nice. Another thing that we can make really fast is for example, react to this clear cart button. So we're going to define that button. We're gonna open this, scroll to the top. And here right after this table body, I'm gonna add a comma. We're gonna call this one clear cart btn. It's going to be equals to document dot query selector. And if you take a look here on the HTML, this one is called clear cart in the ID. So query selector will require the pond sign, clear cart, and we need to add also the listener. Clear cart btn. So we're gonna click cart btn. It's going to be at event listener also. It's going to be a click. And this is going to uh, clear the card. So we need to write this function. Scroll to the bottom. And we're going to add function. Clear card. And we're gonna also add uh, some comments. So we're gonna add clears the shopping cart. And there are two ways to clear the card. I'm gonna show you both. You can see that we already have this shopping cart content and it says table body. So we can select this and paste right here. And we can add something like shopping cart inner HTML and then pass the, uh, the, the HTML empty. So this is going to insert this HTML empty. It's going to take all the HTML that is there and it's going to overwrite the HTML inside the table body with uh, a string that is empty. So let's add these three courses. You can see we have three and you can click here on a clear card and it's going to remove everything. So let's review the, so the second method. This one is usually the recommended way. I'm gonna comment this line. And this will require an extra code, but it's the recommended way of doing it. We're gonna add a while then we're gonna add shopping cart content and I'm gonna add first child. While there is a first child, we're gonna add shopping cart content and then remove child. So we need to pass the sons of this, which is going to be shopping cart content, first child. So this is going to clean also the cart. 
So you can see at the moment the card is empty. So let's add these courses again. You can see we have it like this. Clear the card and you can see that everything is gone. Uh, this option requires extra code, but is more recommended than this one. So this project is looking nice. Now we have the ability to add courses into the shopping cart and remove them. Also to clear the world card. So in the next video, let's see how we can add the selected courses into the local storage.